Hey, I'm Tyler. In this video, we're going to do a T's chemistry practice question on two high priority topics, states of matter and state changes. And we'll also do a full explanation to walk you through everything that you need to know. Here it is. Which of the following substances displays a definite volume but takes the shape of its container? Is it water at negative 25 degrees Celsius, ethanol at 20 degrees Celsius, iron at 37 degrees Celsius, or water at 125 degrees Celsius? Pause the video for a second if you want to think about it, and the answer is B, ethanol at 20 degrees Celsius. Okay, now if you weren't sure how to answer this, let's walk through everything you need to know. This question is a little tricky because it has multiple steps. A lot of questions on the teaser like that. Let's start with what it says up here at the top. We're looking for a substance with a definite volume and that also takes the shape of its container. Do you know what it's talking about here? Well, for the three states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas, it's important to know information about their shape and volume. We'll use these two pieces of information to figure out whether the question is talking about a solid, liquid, or gas. First, what does it mean if something takes the shape of its container. Well, that means that the shape changes, shape changes, depending on the container it's in. For example, the shape of liquids changes in different containers. When water is in a glass, it has the shape of the glass. Pour the water into a triangular flask, and its shape changes. Now it has the shape of the flask. So liquids take the shape of their container. The shape of gases also changes in different containers. So both liquid and gases take the shape of their container. But the shape of solids does not change. When you put a solid into a different container, obviously it stays the same shape. I mean, that's, that's, that's kind of obvious. So that means that if we're looking for something that takes the shape of its container, it could be a liquid or a gas. So these are the two possibilities, liquid or gas. Now let's see how we can narrow this down even more. We're looking for something that has a definite volume. Volume is the amount of space something takes up. If something has a definite volume, that means that the amount of space it takes up doesn't change. Liquids do have definite volume. The amount of space they take up doesn't just randomly shrink or expand. But gases do not have definite volume. They can shrink to take up less room or they can expand to take up more room. So if we're looking for something with definite volume that also takes the shape of its container, we're talking about a liquid. In other words, this question is really asking which of the following is a liquid? So now we've got to look at these four choices and figure out which one is a liquid. You'll notice, and get the, you'll notice that they give us different chemicals and they also give us different temperatures. Let's think through each choice. Choice A, water at negative 25 degrees Celsius. Now, what state of matter is water at negative 25 degrees Celsius? Well, for water, there are two very important temperatures to know. Zero degrees Celsius and 100 degrees Celsius. Below zero degrees Celsius, water is a solid. It's ice. Since we're looking for a liquid, we can cross this off because water is solid. Water is ice at negative 25 degrees Celsius. Now, since we're talking about water, we can also look here at choice D, which also has water. 
water at 125 degrees Celsius. What state of matter would that be? Well, above 100 degrees Celsius, water is steam. It's a gas. But since we're not looking for a gas, cross it off. We're looking for a liquid. Get rid of it. That means that we're left with B and C. Take a look at B here. Ethanol at 20 degrees Celsius. Well, if you're like most people, you'll be like, eh, I'm not really sure about that. Ethanol, 20 degrees Celsius. Okay, fine. We'll just leave it there and we'll keep going. Finally, iron at 37 degrees Celsius. Now, do you recognize 37 degrees Celsius here? It's a super important number, super important temperature. You definitely want to have it memorized. And that's because 37 degrees Celsius is normal human body temperature. That's also 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit, but you're pretty much always going to see Celsius on the T's. So 37 degrees Celsius, normal human body temperature. Now think about this. Iron at human body temperature. What state of matter is that going to be? Iron is going to be a solid. When you hold iron in your hand, you touch iron, it stays solid, right? Iron doesn't melt until 1,500 degrees Celsius. So iron is definitely going to be a solid at 37 degrees Celsius at human body temperature. We can cross C off as well, and that means that the answer must be B, ethanol at 20 degrees Celsius. So pick it. And just in case you want to know a little bit more about this, ethanol is a type of alcohol. It's a type of alcohol that you find in drinks. And 20 degrees Celsius is about room temperature. And you know that ethanol is definitely a liquid at room temperature. So to connect this whole question together, ethanol at 20 degrees Celsius is a liquid, which means it has definite volume, definite volume, and it also takes the shape of its container. I hope this was helpful to see how sometimes you have to walk through many different steps in order to answer T's question. Now, in review, here are some of the things you want to make sure you know for the T's. First, shape. For solid, liquid, and gas, does it take on the shape of of its container. For liquids and gases, yes, their shape changes. They take on the shape of their container. But for solids, no. How about volume for solids, liquids, and gases? Solids and liquids have a definite volume. They don't usually get bigger or smaller on their own. But volume for a gas is not definite. The amount of space that gas takes up can easily change. And if something is not definite, we can also say that it is indefinite. So the volume of gases is indefinite. And finally, you also want to be able to tell whether something is solid, liquid, or gas depending on the temperature. There are a few important numbers to have memorized here. Water freezes at 0 degrees Celsius and boils at 100 degrees Celsius, and normal human body temperature is 37 degrees Celsius. Then you can use a little bit of common sense to figure out what state of matter you'd get at a certain temperature. Make sure you learn all the stuff we talked about, and it will serve you well on the T's. Okay, I really hope this video was helpful. Could you feel yourself learning? I really hope you could. If you like how I teach, I have lots of free lesson videos and practice problems on YouTube and social media. You can find the links to those in the description below this video. And listen, I know that studying for the T's can be rough. Together, we're going to crush it.